Today we're going to look at the demonstration of the iodoform reaction. The iodoform reaction becomes familiar to every organic chemistry student in the second semester, either in a theoretical sense or in an actual practical sense. If you go into the laboratory and you perform uh, qualitative analysis on an unknown in the aldehyde or ketone variety, and is really a very simple test to perform. What you uh, have is a solution made from potassium iodide and iodine. We have such a solution. And I took the liberty uh, today of mixing some iodine crystals, okay, which are water insoluble. Here we have a bottle of them here with some potassium iodide solution, which has a slightly yellowish color to it. So that's potassium iodide. And when you mix these two together, I have a test tube of it right here, you can see that the reagent, the uh, Ki and I2, takes on a very dark orange-brown color. So that's what we're going to be using for our iodine supply. Now the <clears throat> other part of the test involves three molar sodium hydroxide, so make sure that you have your safety gloves on when you do this test. So what I'm going to use is the ultimate methyl ketone, which is acetone, and we'll just put a little bit in there. Acetone is dimethyl ketone, so this has a chance to work on either side of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So there's some acetone in there, and I'm going to add my potassium iodide, iodine solution, and you'll see that's a very dark orange-brown. So there it is, okay, there it is, and let's close that up, and now I want to add to it some sodium hydroxide. So I'm just going to take a little bit of sodium hydroxide, okay, and I'm going to drop it in, and you'll see that uh, the reaction, in this case, is almost immediate. Shake that up, and the white solid, uh, you see, actually eventually becomes very yellowish as it coagulates, and it sinks to the bottom of the tube. This is CHI3. This is iodoform, and it forms if you have a methyl ketone, CH3 and then carbonyl. And then this can be, after it settles, suction filtered, recrystallized, and if you want to verify that you did have a methyl ketone and that is actually iodoform, then you'll take a melting point of it. And that's how one performs the uh, iodoform test.